Okay, so now we're just going to um, start off by building the infrastructure of a website. So a website consists of about five or six different elements. You've got the domain, you've got the hosting, you've got the SSL certificate, you've got what they call cPanel, which is like the database part of your website, and you've got the WordPress. And within WordPress, you've got things like Elementor and all these different, different types of plugins and various other things. I mean, building a website from scratch is a bit of a fiddle, so we're just going to show you a quick and easy way to get like most of the infrastructure built without having to make a huge amount of e effort actually going through and building a page and making sure you've got all the right links and everything looking pretty. Mule can provide you with all this stuff and will provide it to you for free, so don't worry about that. I think it's important, first of all, just to get the correct build for your website. So what we're going to do is first of all go to buildmule.com. Now for this you have to put the www in. Yeah, Don't just go straight to buildmule.com. You won't find it. So put www.buildmule.com. Okay, so buildmule.com is a lot like uh, GoDaddy, all those other kind of websites that provide hosting, domains, this, that, and the other. Um, with BuildMule, there are no real deals to be had. Like you can't kind of say, okay, get a free domain if you buy this and all the rest of it. You just have to build it all individually, and it's important to kind of know that at the beginning um, because you know you can go through GoDaddy and you can buy all these things through GoDaddy through One Two Three Reg. It's all the same stuff. Um, it's just that I have my own, or we have our own, and it's just worth showing you my own. Right. So the first thing is I'm gonna I want to build a website called MuleDev.com. This is a development website that I'm going to use for future website builds. So I need to buy it anyway. I might as well just see if uh, if it's available. So let's just have a look. Um, okay, so MuleDev.com is not available. So let's just call it MuleDevelop.com. Um, it's probably not available. Ah, MuleDevelop.com is available. Okay, fine. So let's just pick that. So we're going to do add that one to the cart. Right, so we need that. So you've got, we've now added the domain to the cart. So now we need to go to hosting. So we need to have cPanel, right? So uh, we're gonna go down to the ultimate cPanel. Now what happens with cPanel is you get the SSL certificate, you get a DNS, you get a SQL database, unlimited, unlimited. So this is the one that's worth buying here, the cPanel ultimate, so buy that. That means you now don't have to buy an SSL certificate, it will come with it. So let's just do it for 12 months, that's fine. Okay, now you can add email accounts, private ones, yada, 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 which you can do, but I'm not gonna do it for this website, I don't need the web, I don't need an email. Um, I don't really want two years, I want just one year, so make sure you change all this to one year. That's your domain. You've got your ultimate hosting with cPanel, so that is what you want. Um, that's fine. So the subtitle is coming up right now at 168 pounds and 87p. Uh, I think that includes that includes the SSL, so that's good. And I think it includes the WordPress website as well. We don't need anything else particularly. Websites, hosting. This is hosting, so that's fine. We've already got the hosting. We don't need any further security, and we don't need any marketing at this. Forget all that. So we're just going to check out um, that, and that will then give us our website infrastructure, as it were. Yes, we need the infrastructure in order to, um, in order to. Now let's just see if I can't figure out. I think I'm going to build this under info joinmule.com. You might not let me because info at joinmule is probably the. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna forget. Let's just see if it'll let me. Okay, so I'm now logged in to buildmule.com. My username and account is infojoymule.com. So we're just gonna fill in all these details, blah blah blah. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm just gonna put in my card number. That so we're going to build a perfect domain. Okay, so there is a bit of tax associated with this. So then the price does jump up. To two, it's about two hundred pounds to build the infrastructure for a website. That is a yearly cost. That is not a um, one-off cost forever. So a website has to be maintained and managed every year. 
So all this is going to start renewing on a one yearly basis. So once you've done it, you've got to expect it to come back for a year. So you can extend it out. Some people prefer just to get two or three years under their belt. We're just going to put a year for this one. No big deal. It does get a bit cheaper if you go down to uh, more more years you buy up front. The best, the cheaper it gets per per month, as it were. But at this stage, it's fine. We're just going to do one year. Okay, fine. So we're going to complete that purchase. Okay, so that's now been bought. We now own a new website. Um, <clears throat> we have a new hosting plan, so it's going to bring up now. So we want to select the domain from your account. So we want to talk about this domain. So let's just go along with that. We're going to do that SSL certificate. Uh, 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 uh. Go back. So we're now Europe. We don't want to install WordPress at this stage. So we just do no thanks. Fine. So it's important you don't build your WordPress account at this stage. If you're going to build it the way that we're going to build it, which is going to be much better than building it a different way. So trust us on this and we'll take it from there once it's finished. So it's providing my account. We can't access your account. <laughs> nice. Okay, good start. Let's just see what's going on. My products. Oh, here we go. So we've got to verify the email. So let's just do that. Okay, so now that's verified. So we don't want to create a website or a domain. We just want to go into the hosting and the C panel. So we're going to go to manage all on the C panel side. Fine, ultimate plan, new accounts set up yeah we want to go to there Europe we don't want to create a WordPress website that's good okay so we're doing multiple things at once So that's now updating. So onboarding completed. So we'll go to the dashboard. Fine. So we, like I said, let's not do anything with installing websites at this stage. We just want to go to the C panel section. So that's fine. Have we got the SSL certificate? So we want to get the SSL certificate up and running. So let's just press status. Okay, pending verification, blah, 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 blah. Serial number, fine, so that's kind of underway. We need to go back to products, again, back to hosting. Okay, so this is our website. So to go to web hosting, and we want to go into manage. So the cPanel is very important. So we need to essentially access the cPanel. So we're gonna go to cPanel admin. Now we're in cPanel. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and take an uh, take the template from this one and literally stick it on top of that one. So, okay, so we're gonna log into a website I've already built, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install a plugin to called uh, Duplicator Pro. This can be found from something called Snap Creek. So SnapCreek.com. Buy you need to probably buy the uh, actual license for this product was $89. If it's below 1.5 gigabytes in size, the website does not need to be, you don't need to pay for it, it's free. But if you go above 1.5 gigabytes in size, it's then not free. So mine is three gigabytes, mostly because I've got loads of like large photographs on there. It's not actually the website that's large, it's the photographs. So by just getting rid of all those photographs, you can bring it down to 700 megabytes, whatever, easily. So you don't really need to pay for this plugin, but I happen to have a license, so let's just use my license. So what I've done already is I've downloaded the uh, zip file, and if you know anything about web, uh, WordPress, you'll know that uploading a plugin can either be done directly from WordPress site itself or just by installing a zip file. So the zip file here is the Duplicator Pro, so I'm just gonna install that now. 
Now, every plugin you put into a website has to be activated as well. So it's not just a matter of um, installing a plugin. You have to then activate it. And then if you have a license key, you then have to put the license key in to then get the license to be running as well. So let's just do that. Okay, so that's now been installed. And then it's going to ask you to activate it. So I'm going to activate it there. So now that is activated and you should be able to see it popping up on the side panel here once it's activated. So now it's here, you see. So we're just going to go into settings and we're just going to put in license key number into this. Um, so it's currently inactive. Let's just see if I press activate, it will actually activate it. So that is now active. So we're ready to go. So let's just do a package. And what we want to do is create a new package here. I'm going to call it Mule Development. Now, obviously, I'm actually physically on another website of mine. So this is just me taking. Does not like that. Okay, that's fine. So that's good. Um, you don't have to worry too much about that. Just call it something. That's what we're going to call it. Doesn't seem to like it, but I think that's just the website disliking it. So um, we want to do that. That's fine. Database. That's fine. So it's, a, it's called a DAF. It's a type of zip file. So we're not going to use zip. We're going to use DAF, which is fine. I'm going to roll down here. We want to have the installer. Um, so that's fine. We don't need to pass it. Protect it. Blah 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 blah. You can keep all this. The MySQL server, you don't need to pre-fill all that, so leave that. Um, and then go into next. Okay, so it's just scan the site. Now my site is actually 3.12 gigabytes. Now the reason it's so big is because I've got loads of files in there. It's just it's all photographs, so really and truly you don't need the professional duplicator pro because or the um, licensed one because my site just happens to have lots of photos, which is why it's saying there's a notice here. It says like you know things shouldn't be that big, but mine is. I think any any um, duplicated profile I provide to people will be a lot smaller than that. I'll just get rid of a lot of the files. But it helps seeing where, if you keep the photos in there, actually it helps people see where photos were kept and so it kind of makes sense. And I haven't quite filled out which photos are important, which ones aren't on that last website. So I'm just going to leave them all in there. So when we rebuild the website, it's going to be, um, uh, it's going to be okay. So at the bottom here, it should say good, 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 good. And then if it says, do you want to continue? And you say, yes, you do. So then you press build. And that is now going to take a certain amount of time to go through the building process. So why it's called to eat ice creams or that, I do not know. It should be, it should be called mule development. I'm gonna, let's just leave it. Okay, so I have now just completed the um, duplicator preparatory work. Um, and as a consequence of that, I've now got two files that are available to me. One's called the archive DAF and one is called the installer. Now we need to download both of these files. So let's just crack on and do that. It does normally in two sections. By the way, when I named the file, it came out as eat ice cream as opposed to mule development, but it doesn't really matter. So that's fine. So that's one installer, and then this is the other. So that's the other one. So it's now downloading both files, <clears throat> which is obviously marvelous. Now, we need to go make a bit of preparatory stuff for the website to be then built on top of our new domain and hosting. So if we go back to this, we already pressed on the cPanel admin, which is then this page here. And it all looks very complicated, it really isn't. You've got two major things here, file manager and MySQL databases. So there's two things we need to do. One is create um, a, we open up the uh, file manager here and we go into this section and basically all websites on all these kind of cPanel things are built in what they call the public HTML file. Now, when I first opened this off the recording, I actually deleted some of the files that are in here. In fact, I moved them into the temporary file over here. So there's like a temp folder. Um, and I normally just take things 
out of there and put them directly into the temp just in case we need them again which we won't essentially everything on the website is stored in this file here and we just don't need anything in it it has to be entirely empty so the first thing you need to do is go to the public HTML it's a brand new domain it's a brand new website there is there should be nothing in there anyway but there was so I just got rid of that stuff and now the file is empty um, it's now still downloading this DAF file and this is now whilst that's now empty we're gonna in we're gonna upload both these files to this folder here that's the intention so we're just gonna wait for that to happen now there's another thing we need to do here which is actually create a database so we're gonna go over here and down this section we've got MySQL databases so we're gonna create a new database called dev let's just call it mule dev fine yeah so we're just gonna go mule dev create that database <clears throat> So that database has now been created, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to add a new user. So we're going to go here, we're going to call it Mule um, Dev, <clears throat> put in a password, okay fine, so we've just created a user as well. Oh must be alphanumeric characters so that's just okay mule dev no space that's fine so you're going to create that user fine so let's just save that so now we've got a database here called mule dev and we've got a um a user called mule dev uh, okay, so now we've got the uh, database here. We've called it now Mule Develop. I've changed it to that, so that's fine. And we've also got um, our user down here, which is um, uh, we've created a user here, so the user's down here. Now we have to add that user to that database. Yes, yeah, so you just press the Add button here, and then you would select All Privileges. And press make changes okay so that's now a very important past step of the um, of this process so you've got to make sure that you associate a user to the, the database okay so now we've got the file downloaded which are these two files downloaded we've got the cpanel directories prepared we've got the databases and the users prepared which is here so that's good um, we're almost ready to go so let's just upload those files to that file to that database this one <clears throat> which is a DAF and that's three gigabytes which is significantly large wait for that to upload okay so that's now um, uploaded onto that particular directory of your uh, cpanel I want to put database file manager essentially you know the database is on the other side this is the file manager so that file's been up uploaded it's 2.99 gigabytes so it's quite large the other file that you got from that old website was the installer.php file. This is a much smaller file, so that's done really quickly. So if we go like this and then just refresh this page, you'll see that the public HTML now has quite a lot of files. Let's just get rid of these ones. Okay, so it should just have those, it's got those files in it now, so that's good. So now we're ready to actually install the new website onto this domain. Yes, so we're gonna take the website from um, this website, this WordPress site that was already built and just install it onto um, this domain. So the way we're gonna do it is, I'm gonna open up a new browser. You, all you have to do is put in your new uh, domain, so it's mule develop.com and then you just type the word installer.php hit return and then it'll do its magic <clears throat> okay 
cool. So this is where it's um, now can you can um, make a difference. So we're going to just call the it's mule underscore develop, right? And then we need to put in the username and password for the other thing. So it was mule dev and then the password, whatever you made it. Now you just got to validate that. Now validation checks that everything's okay. So we passed on everything. So we're all happy to go. Now it's all going to ask you to is confirm. You hit the next button. It's going to say it's going to do all these things. Yeah. And you're going to say it'll overwrite any old databases, blah, blah, blah. You don't have any old databases, nothing on that website. So there's no need to worry about anything. So you just hit okay. And now we're just going to extract that. Okay, so the uh, website has now been duplicated onto my now new domain, which I just bought today. Um, <clears throat> so I took an old website of mine. I mean, I say it's old, I just finished building that one. So it's now kind of, a, it's a new website itself, but I've now, now got another version of it on another domain. So it means that everything is now built on this new website. I, all I've got to do is just change a few bits and pieces. Um, <clears throat> update a few plug-in licenses because the licenses don't come with it so licenses have got to be renewed or updated and then basically you know that's it what it is saying here is that there's some like old files in the in the uh, c panel which are like install the files that should really be deleted and when i press admin login it's going to say hey, do you want to also delete those files uh, it's going to say yeah i'll say yes now there's a general notice here i'm not quite sure what that is but um Warning, file status is good. I think it's just a warning about this file thing, so let's just forget that. So let's just try logging in. Um, and I think the login is the same as the old website, so I'm just gonna have a look. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> And lo and behold, <clears throat> we have successfully migrated the whole thing over, right? So we're happy. We're now good to go. It's asking to say, say it's, it's actually removed those files which I have put in there. Do you remember those ones? Install.php, that was the ice creams, whatever. There's also a duplicate, duplicate thing, but don't worry about those. So your website is now my website, someone's website is now a fully functioning website. So if I now go to um, uh, muledevelop.com, uh, you know, it's there. Yeah, so the full website's all there, including the GDPR thing, yada, yada, yada. It's a fully functioning website, identical to the last one. Yeah, no differences whatsoever. So we can just go through and go to the shop and go and look at Ginger and Yada yada yada. It's it's all the same thing, right? So that's a good start, right? Now, what I want you to be aware of at this stage is this is not Mule process. This is a process that anyone can do, irrespective. I just be happy to using a Mule website design. So that is a design from a Mule system that I'm entitled to duplicate myself as many times as I like. I'm also entitled to give this website for free to anybody who wants it. So if you want to follow this tutorial and you want to get this uh, duplicated site, I will provide the files that necessary. Basically, I'm going to provide you with the files that um, the duplicator format does. So if you go and look in here and we go down to duplicator and we go to uh, packages, um, actually it's not included the packages as part of the duplication, <laughs> which is quite funny. But uh, yeah, essentially, we, we at the beginning of this whole process, we we duplicated, we created one, da, 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 and there was a package in here, but it hasn't brought the package with it. But yes, I have the package on this computer now. So anyone who wants this website, just give us a shout, and I will pass them this, and then they can use this to then build their own. Now, just to get one thing straight, you should be aware, um, Element Pack, which is a plugin, is an independent license. So you have to go and buy your own license. That you would go to. Um, it's called BT Themes, so just put in here B Themes Element Pack. 
I haven't bought a developer license for this yet, but I, obviously I will at some stage, but look, here you go. So Element Packs, you need to download this and buy it, blah, 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 and you can then use the, you need Element Pack for the loss of this website, so that's fine. Um, Elementor itself is in here, so, um, where is Elementor? Elementor is here, and that has a license also that it belongs to me, but frankly, my license, I think I get thousands on my developer license, so I've got plenty of licenses to go around, so we can all just share those. If I just log into Elementor, now, yeah, let's just log into Elementor. Um, let's have a look at my accounts. Log into that. You'll probably see Mule Develop as one of them now. Oh, no, it's not. And the reason that is is because I have yet to um, actually put the license into it yet. So let's just go that. Um, my accounts. So, um, switch accounts. So, I've just got to activate it. So, yes, activate that. So, once Elementor is activated, there we go, it's now active. So, if we were to go to my account now, you'll see in Elementor, it's gonna include now muledevelop.com, yes? So that's now activated. And as far as everything else is concerned, let's go back to muledevelop.com. And I wanna go to the WordPress site. Okay, so um, as far as everything else is concerned, it all came with it, so there's really nothing to worry about. What you can do in a new website is go to the media and you can just start deleting a lot of these photographs that I've used for my website to take them out. But don't delete them all before you've cho chosen your new web, uh, photographs that you put in place. And obviously there's a lot to this and we'll do it as another, another tutorial. But within this website, you'll develop now, you've got a shop, right? So you can start taking transactions so that's already implemented. Obviously it's not your shop, this is a shop, and we would just implement another shop in there from Mule, so that's fine. You've gotta be aware also that you have a management panel at the bottom here, so that's fine. In total, it's it's not a big job to duplicate a website, and in fact, it's not even a big job to then change all the photos and make everything look pretty nice and sweet. It's all the same thing, really. Um, it works brilliantly. You just need a bit of content, so I'd advise getting lots of photographs. Find out all these sections here, and just fill in words that you need, so we'll, we'll help you with that. Um, but uh, yeah, okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it.